Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at the address function in Excel. Now the address function gives you the cell address. It has the capability of generating a cell address. Let's just take a look at an example here. So let's say I start writing address and the first thing that it asks me is for a row number. So that's going to be a number. So let's say I write row number seven. And the next thing that it's asking me is for a column number. So let's say I write column number three. Um, and that's about it. I'm not going ahead and doing the next inputs as of now. I'm just close the bracket and press enter. Now this is going to give me the address of the seventh row and the third column. So third column being the C column and seventh row being the seventh row here. This is going to give me C7. And you can see that I get it right here, just like this, right? So address seven comma three, this gives you the row and the column number and it generates the address from the seventh row and the third column. Let's take a look at the variation in this example. Now, as of now, you would see that C and seven both are locked. You have a dollar sign there. What if you just want to have a dollar sign in front of row number seven, not in front of C. So you would need some mixed referencing here. So what you can do is after writing your row and the column number, the third input that you get is absolute number, absolute reference here, the, this is the third input. So if you pick up the reference number one, which is also by default, this will lock row and column both. If you pick reference number two, this is going to lock only the row. So let's say if I put column number two, this is going to lock only the row. And you can see that the dollar is in front of seven, not C. Now, if you put reference number three, this is going to lock only the column. So if I put three here, which is the index for uh, locking the, the column here, and this is going to lock C column here. Now, if I put four, this is going to unlock everything and just write the cell address. So this is row number 10, column number three, which is C column, and the absolute referencing is number four. That means no locking. Now, there is a fifth input as well in, uh, in the address function. So the first three inputs, you have got it. The fifth, uh, the fourth input is uh, the style of writing the formula, which is an R1, C1 style or the A1 style. Usually people have, are more familiar with the A1 style. A1 means A is the column and first is the row number. So A1, A2, C1, C2. That's how we kind of refer to the column and the row and the column numbers. Well, the other style of writing a formula is R1, C1 style. That means row and the column both are numbered. So there are two things here. So zero means for R1, C1 style and A1 means for A1 style. One is by default. So let's say if I write a zero and close the bracket, this is going to give me row 11 because the first input is 11 and column number three. So this is going to give me R11 and column three. Take a look, R11 and column three. This is also one of the ways in which you can refer to your cells, but this is not very common. Let's take a look at another example. Now you could be writing the formula in R1, C1 style, but let's say you want to lock only the row. So what I'm going to do here is here zero stands for R1, C1. So I write a zero here, but here the, in the absolute referencing, I am writing number two, which is locking the row. So I write two here and you can see that there is a square bracket in front of three. That means we have locked column three here, right? And you can also lock the row here. So we can just write three here. So this, this is, this is locked here. And you can also actually mention a sheet address here. So in the last part of the address formula is the sheet index. That means this address that you're creating could be in some other sheet as well. So in the last part, if in, uh, if you write the sheet name in inverted commas, this is going to have the sheet address before the address of the cell. So if you take a look here, I'm referring to row number 14. The column number is three referencing is none. That means relative referencing, no locking at all. Style of writing the formula is one. That means A1 style and the sheet address is sheet one. So this is going to give me sheet one and cell number C14. So that's the address function. Couple of variations there. I hope you like this video. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter or on YouTube and read all our blogs at goodly.co.in. Thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.